Hey, it's Azure Friday. I'm talking to Scott Guthrie, and we're working our way down the left-hand side of the portal here. Uh, SQL databases in the cloud. Yes. Yeah, so one of the cool things we have with Azure is uh, the ability, obviously you can, you can create a SQL database inside a virtual machine like you would on-premise, and that, that you just manage like a SQL database like you would there. Uh, but one of the nice things about the cloud is we also have these platform as a service capabilities, which are managed services, where you don't have to do it yourself. And mm -hmm. one of those capabilities that's super popular is what we call SQL database. Uh, and this allows you to basically stand up a SQL database that you can start using in a fraction of the time it would take on-premise and at a fraction of the cost. Is well, this really SQL Server? It's not like Azure this is, SQL thingy? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a special version of SQL Server, okay. but it's, you know, it's, mo it's pretty much uh, compatible with what's on-premise. So it's a, it's a subset, so there's some features we don't have. Um, but all the core stuff that you typically expect. So is I can there. connect to it with Management Studio and run queries and yep, you can all use my. Video.net, you can use Entity Framework, ODBC, all that works. Okay, that's SQL in the cloud. There. The thing I usually do, I, I actually usually do this story at, uh, when I talk to um, people where I ask them, you know, hey, if you're building an app on premise today, right. and you ask your <laughs> IT department, hey, I need a new SQL database, <laughs> yeah. how long does it take for them to do it? Yeah. Uh, and you know, it ranges from a couple days to a couple weeks to a couple months. Yeah. I always um, joke. Sometimes there's a, there's a fax machine involved at some point. Sometimes there's a fax machine involved. <laughs> so you know, let's go file new. Okay. So new data services SQL. Do quick create. Quick create. And super goo. Okay. And uh, just yeah, you can pick one of those servers. All right. And uh, just pick anyone. Yep. Hit create, and so 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, done. Four seconds. Oh, wow. So if, if it takes you days yep. today to it's get a SQL database, you can basically get it in three or four seconds on Ah, on look Azure. at that. So then there's the actual address. Yep. And I can get the connection strings. Yeah, if you actually zoom out, yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Basically, uh, if you scroll up here a little bit uh, and click on the dashboard view. Okay. Uh, this dashboard view gives you a nice view, similar to what you've already seen with websites and virtual machines, where you can kind of see the health of your servers. In this case here, we're showing you deadlocks, number of connections, number of queries, uh, and then in the quick glance here, you hit the show connection strings. Okay. Basically, we show you how to connect to it with ADO.NET, ODBC, PHP, even Java. Uh, and so you can copy and paste that connection string into your code, mm -hmm. and away you go. You can actually start um, doing queries against it. You can use SQL Management Studio or Visual Studio in order to connect and create tables and create databases. Um, and um, if you scroll up a little bit, a couple other things you can do that are kind of nice is click on the Scale tab. By default, uh, you can create, we actually give everyone a free 20 meg database. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can go ahead and create like one gig and higher size databases. The neat thing about SQL databases is you don't need to buy a SQL Server license. So you don't have to go out and buy a SQL Server license. Instead, you can say, hey, I'd like a you know, 10 gig database, so let's make 150 gigs. Hit save. Does it actually take my existing database? And yeah, update and so it? like literally watch, it's going to take about three seconds, and now oh, it's a 150 wow. gig database. And so it's really easy to scale up and scale down. You only pay for what you use. Mm -hmm. So if you're not actually, if you don't need that 150 gig of database, drop it back down to one gig. Uh, and a one gig database per month is uh, under $10. And this but one, we put No this, SQL license required. We put this in, uh, Where's our in West US? Yep. So it's free for me to talk to it. I don't have to pay for the traffic if I'm also in the web West US. Correct. Right? If you've got a website or virtual machine in West US, you can talk to this database. There's no bandwidth costs and there's no per connection costs. Uh, if you connect to it outside West US, then you'll pay bandwidth costs. Mm -hmm. So you typically want to make sure your database is in the same region as where your your uh, the code calling it is. Other cool thing you can do if you scroll up is uh, if you click the uh, configure tab. Okay. You can enable uh, exports, and so you can either manually create a DAC pack that you can export, oh. or another cool feature you can do now is you can set up backups. And so you can store it into a blob account, a blob storage oh, account. Wow. And you can say, hey, every day or every week, go ahead and do a full backup to an exportable image into blob storage. You can say re retain for 30 days uh -huh. or keep at least one file. Um, now and it keeps it up. It keeps the database up while it's doing this. It keeps the database up while it's doing it. Uh, built in, without even having to do this, we do keep multiple copies of your database. Mm -hmm. So we will survive a server going down. The nice thing about the exportable feature is even if a meteor came slamming into the data center and wiped out that whole part of the world, um, your data would be at least 500 miles away. And so nice. 
your data will survive depending with an on export. the size of the meteor. Um, and so, you know, this export feature is kind of nice just for a doomsday scenario. Yeah. How do you make sure that um, the data always is there? But standard stuff like a server occasionally going down or disk going bad, the yeah. service itself protects you already against. And this is really nice. It's just on one page. Historically, in my experience, exporting and importing SQL databases has been a little bit of a challenge. Yep. I can actually, I see here, I could say create from export. So Correct. recovering from that meteor. Yep. <laughs> once yeah. civilization has rebuilt itself, yeah, yeah, yeah. then you're pretty much set. Yep, exactly. And that's, everything you're showing here, you can also automate. That's very cool. For the command line. SQL databases in the cloud. It's Azure Friday.